welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you've been doing well. Today I wanted to show you my cacti. I've been collecting cacti since I was a kid, but sadly most of them died because I didn't know how to take care of them. But the ones that I'm gonna show you today are quite old. Some of them are up to eight years old. So let's get into it. Disclaimer, I am not an expert. This is just a hobby of mine. So if you have any tips or tricks, leave them down below. I'll be happy to read them. So let's start with the newest addition to my cacti family. It's these two guys. They were actually on sale, minus 80%. They were in the section where it says, you know, these plants need love to recover, but actually they don't look bad at all. They, they've been doing pretty well. I've been watering them regularly. And as I see, you know, that they're growing, I'm gonna give them, I'm gonna repot them and give them a bit more space so they can have, you know, their own environment and they can continue growing and thriving. The next one is this one. This was actually my quarantine buddy. Uh, I got him right before quarantine started. He looked pretty faked, he looked very plastic, but I think he's very cute and I do, do like him a lot. So yeah, it, he's my tiny buddy. So the next one is the one I call my Chernobyl bunny. It's the only one that has any type of um, aesthetics added to it. it, has the cute little eyes. I, I got it because he was a bunny, he had like a head and then two ears. But sadly during transport he lost one of the ears and in that place this big one grew and then after this one these two tiny ones grew and this ear also got some more ears so he's my chernobyl bunny he's my cutie pie you know and i yeah i really like him he's very special but his needles are very annoying because they're very small and and they just you, you don't see them so when you have them on the skin it's just like something irritating you all the time very annoying so yeah you have to treat this one very careful carefully then i have this one this one is very soft on the outside but he has very sharp needles like any other cacti does i got this one for my birthday from a very good friend of mine uh, it was a few years ago i don't remember five to six years ago and when i got him it was like this big but now it's, it's a cute one that looks kind of funny, but yeah, moving on. Okay, so for, for the next two, I really don't know when I got them or where I got them. I assume I got them at the plant fair because I love going to the plant fair and then they have the stall with the cacti and I usually have to get one. But the first one is like this. He's, it's really cute. Um, uh, yeah, but his needles are very annoying because they point like they're like hooks. And so when I was repotting this one, it was quite painful because it would get stuck and it's, yeah, it's, it's a bit annoying, but I think it's a cute cacti and I love him like all of the other ones. And then this one, this is a bit of a bigger boy. Um, he's also very cute. When I got him, he was like this big. I think I got him at a plant fair and yeah, I, I really like him. He's been growing very well, so it's a big plus. <laughs> okay, so the next two are the ones that actually uh, gave me the idea to make this video because I was very surprised by how much they grew and I don't know if you know those tiny ones in Ikea they come in little pots like this you know they're very small you know? and so I got a pair of three like a pack of three of those and one of them sadly died because he didn't like it here but the other two the other two really grew up and as you can see, they would not fit into the small, small, like, if you can see. It, this used to be in here. And so, <laughs> yeah, they they were the biggest surprise for me. I, I really like them and I really like seeing them grow because this, they're still both growing. And I feel like, I don't know, I feel like they're gonna have to be replanted somewhere. But I really like them and I, they, were, they were the biggest surprise. And they keep still keep growing. And yeah, it's just a lot of fun to see them grow and be happy. And then the last one is the oldest one that I have. He's from the year 2012. He's a bit sideways currently. I've been trying to get him to reposition. Maybe I'm gonna have to do some more work. If you have any ideas how to make him not be as sideways like this, please leave them down below because I really do want to make it better. But it's probably one of my favorite ones 
first of all because I've had it for so long and it's still alive and the second one is that it loves the sun so whenever there is you know enough sun he it starts growing flowers and they're beautiful it starts to bloom they're very beautiful they're purple and pink and I love it so yeah if you have any tips on how to fix <laughs> fix the leaning uh, I'll be very happy to read those so yeah that was my cacti tour I do hope it grows because I do like how they make the room look and I, I like how simple they are to take care of they don't need much I think they're the happiest when I'm gone and they just chill by themselves <laughs> so yeah do you collect anything cacti or maybe stamps or maybe coins let me know down below I'm very interested to see what people are collecting these days thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video bye